Hello, I am Kevin Cooper, an information technology professional with a bachelor's degree from Florida State University. I have a passion for health informatics, networks, and information security. I'm a very hard worker, love solving problems, and really enjoy learning new things to add to my experience. I'm here today to show you how to harden your Windows operating system. I'll be showing you how to do this using a Windows 7 operating system. For those of you who are using Windows XP or Windows Vista, please look to my supplemental materials to find the variations in the processes. Hardening is basically just making the operating system stronger so that your information stays protected from intruders. This may sound complicated, but I will explain this step by step so that anyone that wants to secure their computer will be able to do so. I will be showing you how to turn on Windows Automatic Updates the Windows firewall and how to find and turn off various services your computer comes preloaded with. To begin we will make sure that your computer is current on any patches or updates. These are new changes to the Windows operating system that are given out to everyone. In order to do this we will begin by going to the start menu looking for control panel here or you can type control panel in this bar and it will take you there as you can see here now once in here we're going to scroll to the bottom find the Windows update option select this option once selected it will bring you to this screen here on this screen there are several options on the left hand side you can check for updates change various settings view the updates that your computer has already performed, restore hidden updates, and find frequently asked questions about the updates. So as you can see here, I have no important updates available. You may have some updates here. What you want to do is you click here and you'll find the updates that are available. If you select this top checkbox, it will highlight all of the boxes and you can update everything. Select OK at the bottom right hand corner. Again on this page now you'll see here it'll say you can install updates. It'll show you how many updates you've selected and how much room these updates will take up. You can click install these updates. You can read the license terms for all the updates that you have that need licensing. If you decline these terms, they will not let you update these licenses. So now you see I'm downloading updates. So now that your computer's up to date, and now that we have found these updates, you can also change the settings on this so that your computer will automatically install updates every day whenever you can change it to any day of the week at any time your computer will automatically do these updates if your computer is off it will do these updates when your computer is turned back on so I have set mine for every day at 3 a.m. to search for updates you can change it to any day of the week you would like select OK you're back to this screen now, once your computer is up to date and everything, you have set it up so it will automatically update. The next thing is to check your Windows Firewall. Come to the Start menu again. To go to the Control Panel here or type it in here. Now this time we're going to scroll to the bottom again, find Windows Firewall option. Now that we've found this option, you can do various changes to the firewall. As you see here mine is connected, firewalls on, everything is good. In order to change this, now you see I have these options are allowed to communicate through my firewall. I'll change some of these settings so that these can no longer communicate through my firewall. Also, you're going to find 
services that you're going to want to take off of your firewall. See, such as this. Take this out. Now it's gone. It's not going to be accessed through your firewall. If you would like to allow a program, you can click on here. Allow another program. Now it will give you which programs you can allow. Here you'd like to go and make sure your firewall is turned on. If you'd like to make sure no one can at all come into your computer, you can click this all incoming connections. This option notifies you when firewall blocks a new program. Down here for the public network, this is for if you're logged into a public network such as uh, a school or you know anywhere you'd go with Wi-Fi that you can connect to. Also would make sure your firewall is on for that. Now that your firewall has been turned on, your automatic updates are turned on. Now we'll make sure that you have no services on the computer that could compromise your system. There's various services that the operating systems are pre-programmed with for various reasons, desktop access and other things that you may not need. So in order to find this, we're going to go to this start menu here. You're going to type in CMD to start the command prompt. Hit enter. Once this is done, you'll see the command prompt up here. Now once you're in here, type in services dot msc push enter you'll see this uh, come up and this is all services that are that are on your computer right now in order to filter out these services we're going to click this button the status button this will bring all the services that have been started to the top of the list making it easier for you to disable certain services that you would not like oh services that you do want to make sure are turned off are services such as Telnet, SMTP, NetBIOS, IMAP, any remote access services, SNMP, and TFTP. All of these services allow people to get onto your system. Remote access, remote desktop, all of these services here should be disabled so that you do not have to worry about people logging into your computer. All of these services open ports which is basically a tunnel into your computer for someone to get into. Once they get in there they have free reign of your system basically and can do whatever they would like. So. Here's TCP IP, SNMP, all remote access, remote anything, turn those off. TCP IP NetBIOS, so services such as these should all be turned off. So, now that you've turned off the services, got your firewall working, your computer is up to date with all of the patches and new releases to the operating system. The last thing that you can do is find an antivirus program. There are many different antivirus programs out there that you can choose from. They offer different features. Some are free, some you must pay for. Now that we are finished, you should be able to find the automatic updates and turn them on. You should be able to find the firewall and turn it on as well. You should also be able to find the services, enable or disable any services that you would like. Along with this video I've provided written materials, a guide to do this process. It also has instructions for Windows XP and Windows Vista. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope I helped. Here is a link to my interactive resume.